Hey, people. Big smile. <laughs> Have a look at this. This is the retro engine. Just look at the size of it. It's big. It's fantastic. Let's start it and see it running. <laughs> It really is a good engine. It makes me so happy to have it. Uh, it's big and it's powerful and it works straight out of the box. Oh. <laughs> this is a really good model. It comes completely built. It's a four-stroke um, old retro engine that runs on gasoline. I put here in Europe 95-octane petrol in it, and I also mix it with a bit of Marvel Mystery Oil, which is the secret sauce, just to lubricate the cylinders and valves. And it's, it's great. It has a very good oiler. Um, it has a water jacket, which pumps round, and it has a recirculating radiator and tank. Just go out and get one. I got this sent to me by Engine DIY Shop. Thank you, Engine DIY Shop. And really, it's making me very happy. Let's have another go at running it and see it in its full glory. <laughs> You can run it slowly like that by enriching the mixture. It has a very simple carburetor. It would be better if it had a more complex carburetor, but it doesn't. And then if you run it really lean, it goes faster. <laughs> This is the recirculating water pump. This is the fuel container. This is the uh, water container. This is a little radiator. Enormous flywheel. It looks like about eight, nine inches in diameter. Single uh, piston and cylinder, water-cooled jacket, and a little exhaust pipe. A very simple carburetor. Could be a bit more complicated. Ugh. And the really good thing for a model engineer is it just worked out of the box. I didn't build anything. I literally just hooked it up to my power supply. You can run it on AA batteries. I would say a PP9 and 9 volt battery would be a good idea. The ignition works by a Hall effect sensor, which is a little device here, and this has a rotating magnet. Every time it goes past, it goes to the ignition uh, box, which sends a spark to the spark plug, which is in there. I could actually use this in a small boat. It's that powerful. Happy face. <laughs> what a great engine. Not only does it look great on the mantelpiece, it's also really a fun thing to come down to your workshop, to your shed, and actually run. I find it very therapeutic just to have this old retro working engine that works out of the box. I could never build one as beautiful as this. Imagine how much this would cost if it was like a Stuart engine kit. But you can get this from Engine DIY Shop, fully built, shipped. I got mine in two or three days here in France, in Europe. I'm sure they could ship it to you pretty fast. It must have come from a European warehouse. And it just runs. It's great.
Why? Occasionally blow smoke rings. You need to keep it well lubricated. This is why it's looking so filthy. But I tell you, it's filthy because it's oily and that's because it's running just perfectly. Lean. Rich. Rich and dirty and slow. That's about as slow as I can get it. It's just running inefficiently. Efficient. That's about as slow as I can get it. Ooh, too lean. No, I really can't tell you how good this engine is. For the price, for such a large, meaty, very well built, I think it probably has, you know, a fifth of a horsepower. You could actually use it for something. <laughs> but just for pure enjoyment, for pure entertainment, for pure joy, having something like this in your house, if you enjoy engines, and you don't have a lathe, you don't have a mill, and you want a fully working, pre-built works out of the box engine with good support i've never seen a better one link in the description get yours today